A lot of folks on YouTube seem to enjoy the unboxing videos and uh, we're going to do you one better here. We're going to do an uncrating video. This is a crate of Bulgarian 762x54R ammo. Uh, for some reason or another they've spray painted over the markings on it but we can kind of read it through the uh, through the spray paint there. A little bit of the uh, nomenclature there. 880 count, 762 millimeters. With the big triangle on the top here with a two on it. Fairly sturdy crate. Dovetail corners. And all put together with screws and some runners on it. Fairly heavy bugger, I'll tell you that much. I've kind of cheated. I've already started at this. You can see there was a band on here. There was a galvanized metal band. I cut that off with a hacksaw. And we've got six screws in the top here. Normally I wouldn't use a power tool to take screws out, but it, this is a little bit uh, quicker to do with the video, so I'm going to pull the screws out. And there we go, six screws out. I'll take the top off. Set that aside. And we've got a, some sort of a packing label here. I don't speak that language, so I guess we're going to have to leave that to some of you folks who do. I would assume that's some sort of an inspection sticker or slip. We've got a piece of cardboard here in the top as a bit of a spacer. Set that aside. And as luck would have it, of course, I opened it the wrong way. There we go. So we've got our two so-called spam cans in here. They contain 440 rounds each. 762 and we've got the uh, identification of the ammunition here. 1971 is the production. Factory code 10 which I understand uh, is the Bulgarian Arsenal which manufactured the ammo. We've got another piece of cardboard here as a spacer between the two spam cans and they're very thoughtful. They've left us with a strap here. We can get the first can out. Good sturdy packaging. Okay, we'll set one of those aside. And we've got some more cardboard in the container there, some more spacers just to keep things from rattling around. I'm sure this will be a handy uh, handy container once I got it emptied out. I might even put some hinges on it to use it for storing stuff in. A lot nicer than a flimsy cardboard box, that's for sure. Alright, I'll get the second one out. And we'll set the crate aside. Yeah, good sturdy crate. Now to get into these so-called spam cans, you need to have the proper opener. And there should be one with every crate. And normally they're on the inside of the cover, so let's turn it over. There we go. So there's our opener. Let's grab the drill here and take the screw out of that. It's held to the uh, it's held to the cover with a screw, and there's a bit of a hole drilled there to accommodate the opener itself. So we'll get that out. This of course is, is fine and dandy if you're the guy who bought a whole case because you get the opener with it. If you buy these broken up and you end up with uh, only one of the cans, you might want to inquire as to getting an opener if you don't already have one. So, let's see about breaking this thing uh, this thing open here. I've never actually opened one of these myself before. I've only ever bought them pre-opened, the contents thereof. So I'm going to assume this works just like an old-fashioned uh, can opener. Hook this tab over the other side of the lib lid and use the... Uh, piercing portion of it here to puncture through the side. 
So let's see if I'm correct in that assumption. Give this thing a give this thing a go. Oh yeah, I could just hear some air rushing into it. So these must be vacuum packed, which is a which is a good sign. Oop. We have to fast forward through this process because this seems like it's going to be a little bit slow. I'm not exactly the most practiced at it. There we go. Leaves a rather uh, jagged edge. And we've got some more cardboard and another label. See if anybody out there knows what that says. Another piece of packing cardboard with a number on it. And then lots of wonderful bundles of ammo. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 22 times 20 equals 440 in my books. And they've all got a nice uh, piece of string tied around them there to get them easy to pull them out and hold them together. And just your basic looking uh, cardboard or brown paper I should say wrapping. We can take the string off here. Let's have a look at what's inside. Just like Christmas. You can open up the presents. And there we have a whole bundle of rounds all packaged uh, staggered and they each have a row of paper between them to keep them separate. I would assume to keep them from rattling. And there we have the ammo. Nice shiny looking stuff. I did a review of this ammo previously. If you're interested in checking out the uh, details of it, the full details are on that video and I'll do a link to that down below. And I also did a shooting test on this ammo as well out of my Mosin Legante M9130 sniper rifle. So, see the factory code stamp on the top, 10, and the year of production, 1971. So, it is what it's supposed to be. I'm very pleased. I uh, have a good quantity of this, so it's nice to have a, a reasonable quantity of good quality ammunition, and I hope to have lots of fun with this stuff out at the range. You're shooting out of my various uh, Mosins and maybe my SVT-40. So, anyway guys, thanks for uh, joining me with for this uh, uncrating video. So I'm, I'm one up in the people who do unboxings. I've done the uncrating. So anyway, guys, till the next time, we'll talk to you later.